Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Pin wasn't in. Could you imagine starting the video with just the boat just hanging on by a thread? <laughs> that was so dodgy. Boat's a little leaky this morning. Here we go. I'm putting the boat in the water. I have no idea why there was so much water in my boat. I think it's because I... I don't know. It rained or something. Let's not worry about it. Is a plug in now? Plug is... Yeah, we're good. You're straight, y'all. All right, guys, welcome back. I think last time we were on the channel, we were filming a little boat tour. Now we're with none other than the one and only legendary Bryce B. Every time Bryce and I would fish, it'd be like 28 degree Fahrenheit. We had an awful spring this year in Texas, but it's hot now. It's supposed to get to 97 in the afternoon, so we're gonna do a half day sesh. Gonna break in the new low and crank on some fish. Where to go first? That's the question. Probably right next to this guy, see if he has some room. Uh, I don't know how to rig my boats. And I have, a, I have a wire in here that's supposed to make the trolling motor go and she's a little loosey goosey, so nothing a little Gorilla Tape can't fix. Shout out, shout out to the Gorilla Tape squad, hashtag sponsored. That's a good one too. Get it, get it. <laughs> Dude, that's a freaking good start. Oh, she's fat. Yes. Dude, she's blind. That's what we need. We need those blind fish so they can't see our baits. <laughs> that's a good one. It's like freaking almost four pounds, probably four. Damn, like, that's great. Look at that eye, I've never seen one. Oh yeah, super glassed over. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's go. Get another one. Bryce with the first nut of the day. Come here, buddy. He's happy. Oh, there we go. Hammer. 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 I almost took Bryce's head off on that one. Yeah, I wanted to get the duck. I was like, all right. There we go. First fish of the day on the frog. Had to, had to show Bryce what it's all about. Now oh, you're catching doinks. He just had a freaking monster. Bryce is throwing a big swim bait right now. He had a monster fish come up and swipe at it. I got his little cousin. But it feels good to get some slime in the boat. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've been out in the sun and caught some fish, so that feels good. Little frog, little bass. Dang. He gone. Can we get some cheaper stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was so sick, dude. Good one, too. Yeah, he's still on it. Oh, not that good. That was so sick, though. <laughs> he ain't that good. <laughs> that was dirty. <laughs> Just high stick the f out of that fish. That was so dirty, dude. Flipped in there just like a like a little tiny boop before it even like hit the water. This fish was on it. Like he ate it like mid cast. Nice little fish. My second one of the day. We got four fish total. All on frogs. Gotta love when they're eating the toads. It's a little frog. I'll talk about this guy later, but. It's not a bad one. Big head, skinny body. In the water, he goes. It's a big one. It's a big one. Since it's a little slow right now, I figured I'd take some time and stall for a bit and talk about lures and how we are catching these fish. Honestly, we're not doing that bad. We got four fish. Uh, we're looking pretty savvy for the day. But one thing I like throwing in the summertime is frogs. I love frogs. It's really what makes the bass world go around in the summertime because it's so hot. It gets pretty miserable here in Texas midday. And when you come out here early in the morning, like basically like 5.30 to right about now, around 8 a.m., you can get on a really soft frog bite. Also in the p.m. too. It's just one of those things that's fun to throw and you can catch some big fish. Bryce was here like, what was it, like last week or something like that? And you dunked a big, he dunked a big one on a frog too. So it's a big fish bait. Like a lot of people think it's like, oh, you know, you just get a lot of numbers on or whatever. And it's just fun to throw. But honestly, pattering fish on frogs is um, super useful because you could come to a stretch of bank with a lot of grass, a lot of flooded vegetation, and these fish could be looking up at shad. And that's kind of what we're trying to imitate right now. Like a frog isn't meant to imitate just a frog. It's meant to imitate like an insect, 
a dying shad. I think people would trip out about it, like, oh, if they're not eating frogs, they're not gonna, you're not, you're not gonna throw a frog. But the frog is just, it's just commotion on the surface, and it's weedless too. So, for example, we're fishing all this flooded timber, all these flooded reeds, and the only thing you can pretty much throw in this is like a Texas rig or a frog because it's completely weedless. See, I can run my finger right over the back of that and not get hooked. Well, actually, I got hooked a little bit there, but you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to make a point here. So that, uh, that's why it's such a useful tool. I refished today on the frog. Might even throw some baits here in a little bit and maybe flip, but oh, we still have a little bit of shade, frog it is. Look at that, oh my gosh. Let's get bit. That was cool. Another one on the frog. Choked it. Yes, sir. Wow, oh, man. Getting some bites here. They're just not like monsters. That one looks a little healthier. Nice and fat, good colors. Feels good to get on a frog bite. It's just so much fun, man. There's something about visually watching a fish eat your lure that makes everything else look dumb. That's why I like throwing Senkos in clear water. That's why I like throwing frogs. That's why I like throwing swim baits and crystal clear lakes. Because it's just fun, no matter what the size is. Sick. That's so dope. See you later, dude. Get him. Oh, he got him. He got him. Throw your swimming in there. That was so sick, dude. He ate him. He ate him, yeah. He ate him, yeah. He was gone. Yeah. That was so sick, bro. Oh. That was a good one, too. Yeah. Like about two or three pounders, something like that. That bass was putting the number on that bluegill. I've never <laughs> seen anything. <laughs> that bluegill was like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> he was toasty. Yeah, he wasn't really standing much of a chance. That was so sick. All right, that's literally one of the reasons why Bryce and I are throwing top water right now is because like that example right did you get any of that in the film this bluegill about that big came up and was like swimming on the side right on the surface just waiting to get eaten and of course i called i was like that thing's about to get eaten all of a sudden like a three pound bass comes up and slurps it down so little frog what looks absolutely nothing like a bluegill it has that same action that kind of dying motion and that's what we're trying to achieve here is trying to make make these fish come up and look at it As you can tell by all the sweat on my face right now, I uh, I think it's 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 time to switch up gears and try something a little bit different. Bryce is he's a jack of all trades. He catches smallmouth, largemouth, and also crappie. So he's been on a juice little crappie bite. So we're gonna kind of take the fight from the bank to the open water and dang a few little crappie jigs. Got some ultralights. I always leave ultralights in my boat for the sheer reason that uh, you never know when you have to you know think of a different plan to catch them. Just got a little lure. That's gonna get twerked by a crappie. A little Roadrunner, dude. That's nostalgic. This brings back memories. I got my biggest crappie ever on one of these. Really? Oh, hell yeah. These are awesome. With like one of those Berkeley uh, curl tails. Oh, yeah. There's some curl. I got juice. Juice. Let's go give it a diangle. We're right on top of the tree. See, I've got only a rear graph. Oh, wow. There's one in eight foot right there. Nice fat one. I only have a, a pinger, a sonar on the rear of my boat. So that's why I'm standing back here opposed to fishing the front of my boat. Bryce is up there doing a little jigging. We're on top of a brush pile. Crappie love brush year round. They just, they relate to deeper water, especially in the summertime. Hang around some woods, some Christmas trees, and you just jig vertically for them. It's so much fun. And dude, they thump it. And if you like eating fish, then these are great eating fish, but I like putting it back. Oh wow, right in the brush. Yep. There we go. Hell yeah. These guys are so much fun. Yep, just a little peck. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> this is so rad. <laughs> so gnarly. Gotta love when they eat it like that. Damn. So it's like bass slowed down, switched to crappie, caught some crappie, crappie slowed down. Now we're back to bass. This is like uh, ADD fishing at the finest, ADHD fishing, I, su I suppose. With the water being so high, it's, it's tough to figure out where exactly they'll be. A lot of speculation that people will say, oh, they'll move up shallow. They get really, really shallow. They like push themselves up in that brush. But it's like tough to focus when it's this hot out. Like it's, it's the water temp is 85 degrees. It's like a bath. And then above the water, where we're at right now is like probably getting towards 90. And 
Growing up in Illinois, I'm, I'm partial to this heat. Oh, I'm going insane. I need to get bit, son. So we're gonna fish this for like an hour or so more and get out of here because it's gonna get hot, real hot. It's like, look at this cheese. Look at the cheese on this plate. Melted, melted. Bucky's cheese, just not looking so good. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> I just knew, I just knew there had to be one in that brush. <laughs> Do you realize how hard that thing hit it? He ran all the way out of the reeds. Let's go, baby. Finally. Woo, so. put her there. <laughs> That's the meat we needed on the boat. <laughs> wow. That's definitely my biggest Texas bass on the new low. I know you Texas guys are gonna knock me, but it is tough fishing in the sea. Like I'm definitely not used to it. I've only lived here for about two years and it's rough. So we've been in a mega lull. There's not a whole lot of enthusiasm on the boat because the bite's slow. It's hot. I'm like sweating out of every orifice right now. I got swamp ass like no other. But that's the kind of fish you need to wake you up. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> it's a good bass. We're gonna give her a drink and then put her back in the water. Success. And now for the release. Just a healthy fish. The one you want at the end of the day. Oh. She's biting the finger. Oh, let go, let go, let go. <laughs> she ain't lucky. <laughs> I've never had a bass do that. Oh, that was so sick. Whew. Feeling good now. We were about to give up, but I think we're gonna give it like 10, 15 more minutes, just flip some more brush and hopefully get a monster. That felt amazing. Look at this, bro. See this? This is why Bryce and I, we don't mess around with the heat. This cheese got fond dizzled. Like that was, these were cubes. And now they're just, like, ugh, that's how I feel right now. Anyway, that was a bang up day of fishing. Huge shout out to Bryce for, oh God, this thing is so hot. Huge shout out to Bryce for taking us out here, showing us the ropes. This is a cool lake I've never fished here before. I always like fishing new waters, especially since I'm still learning Texas. That's something I advocate for you guys to do is to go out, expand, try some new waters, fish some new creeks, some ponds, some little juice nuggets, cause you might find your new honey hole. So uh, yeah, this was fun. We got two four pounders, handful of crappie and some nice bass. So I'm feeling good. If you guys wanna know what you use today, check the link in the description below. Um, primarily the Kraken Craw and the Frog did them dirty, but yeah, you just come out here and do a half day of fishing, call it afternoon, get some margaritas, get some Coronas and get ready for the next mission. Oh, that was fun.